Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of George R.R. R. Martin. The mighty and powerful... That's the wrong series card, you absolute fool. Anyway, George R.R. R. Martin, thank you for the really great suggestions and good feedback for, for what the hell we've got going on here on yesterday's episode. So the one I really liked as well was name your kids after the people that we slay. So no more Georgina. Instead, we are going to call you Ed Ed Edardina. Ed Edardina? Ed... Hmm... Edwina? Now, that is a real name, though. Edardina, in honor of slaying yesterday Edard Stark. And then, of course, we can go back to our kill list. But what I will do in the mod, when I when I get enough time in a day to be able to do it, because I've got four series going on right now, when I get enough time in a day to do it, I will add a mechanic so that it will check who you've killed and give your kids... A, you can choose when a kid's born, so maybe give it a name based on someone in your kill list and give them a, a, a bonus as well. Maybe, like, a bonus to the education that the guy you killed was of. Say, uh, so Edward Stark, for example, I believe has a martial education... Chance of us giving that kid that was born then uh, a little bonus to Marshall, maybe just like one point or something like that. But mainly give a give them a name that relates to the person that you killed. I think that could be quite a cool little feature. We are still, however, going to try and take the... I, I didn't make this clear enough yesterday. I would still like to take the Iron Throne as the Martin Dynasty. However, as you'll see as we write some more books here, and hopefully I'll fucking write a book today. <laughs> it does it every time it's going to make me laugh when I think, oh, we're complaining about... It Game of Thrones while George R. R. Martin not writing a fucking book quick enough. Anyway, um, I will show Robert. I've always been better at talking through my, my pen. My pen. Fucking my god. I need to. I need to lie down. Okay, I'll write about his deeds. Yep, good. Um, what a sad little man. What I was gonna say is the goal is always to put the Martin Dynasty on the Iron Throne because it is his right as the creator. I mean, the real creator of the Iron Throne, not Aegon, the Conqueror, with his with his dragon melting down all the swords, and it's not. You know, Robert Baratheon losing the throne. It's, it's him taking back what he is owed. And that is the entire world of Westeros. So we're going to try and pull that off with the Martin Dynasty. If not George himself, like I said, we can choose an inheritor to take George's powers. But we can also maneuver our dynasty into various diplomatic situations. But I'll show you guys that when it happens. I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, you want to make us... Uh, Falsy Stoteworth, our current liege, wants to make us... Hand of the King, or, or the equivalent of Hand of the King, as a Seneschal for um, for Rosby. I want to take Rosby. What plots have we got available? We're trying to kill Jamie Lannister right now for our next big kill of the campaign. 105%. Um, There's no one else we can bribe right now. Obviously, a tr killing a Kingsguard is fairly tricky because there aren't too many people in the court of the Kingsguard besides other Kingsguards, weirdly enough. So um, if he's a particularly honorable guy, they're not going to want to kill him off too quickly. How are we looking then in regards to everything else? Council's a bit shitty. When we get one of the books, he's actually done it. You wipe the sweat off of your brow. Sitting in front of you is a newly written novel. You can barely believe your eyes. So many words written by a single man. One of six books there. You can pause that and read them if you want to. I'm not going to do that because it will spoil the fun. So, we got A Storm of Sores. A novel written by famous author George Martin detailing a disgusting tale of sickness and more sickness. We get the targeted decision to give characters a random illness to help facilitate their untimely death. Now, of course, if they die from an illness, it won't count as George himself killing them dead. So bear that in mind that it won't give inspiration. It's a very powerful tool, though, because depending on what illness they get, it could be an instant death. But for the balance, I figured you don't want to just have a button that allows you to instantly kill people, right? And of course, the, the abilities still cost inspiration as well. If we want to use our sickness character there, Deus Ex Machina, give Janos Slyn an illness, it will... He has to also, you know, not be ill, not be in seclusion, etc., etc. Um, it would develop a random disease. What that disease is, is any of the harder-hitting diseases, uh, potentially also from the Game of Thrones one as well. So we could get the butterfly fever on Narf, for example... But again, this is a way to remove political opponents. It's not George personally overseeing the death. This will be just an unfortunate coincidence. So, not used to gain inspiration, but to remove political enemies. So, we'll save that one on the back burner. This will be good to use, say, against Fossey Stoteworth and her descendants to try and gain Rosby. Speaking of which, let's do exactly that. Let's hit her with a Deus Ex Machina. What's she got? Rash? She got Rash? Wait, was that me? Or was that co coincidence? I think that was coincidence. Uh, 40 point angel. That was fucking coincidence. I, I mashed the button. I don't know if you noticed there. I unpaused it rather than send the thing through. Huh. Well, George, you've done it again, you madman. Okay. Um, and let's immediately get to work on our next novel in true George R.R. R. Martin fashion. You decide to want to take an absurdly monumental task of writing a novel. 
We're going to take another holiday first and gain back the power that we would have spent on the novel. Nope, this won't take long. Let's do it, George. Now, again, it's just it's just a purely random occurrence. He could write it in two weeks. He could write it in six years. Um, oh, we could also try and hone our abilities a little bit now. So, need some martial. Um, so, stewardship diplomacy. And this in true George R.R. Martin fashion is, again, purely random. Could go for intrigue. What are we missing right now? A diplomacy four. I feel like martial with this guy is just a bit pointless. That might be something better for his descendants. Um, and we will be trading and learning a way to do that. Now, as we've only killed one person so far and written a storm of swords, we've only gained... Oh, we've killed someone else, didn't we? Um, who's we killed? Sir Balon. Oh, but he wasn't highborn. Um, so really, we've only gained two learning since the campaign starts. So if we study too much, we're going to lose our learning so fast and then lose our ticking score. Um, should we just do some regular Game of Thrones stuff for a while? You know, while we see what happens with House Stoteworth here. Well, we've, we've got a plot against Jamie Lannister. Let's not get too distracted. I'd love to go on a tour. What do we got to do here? Um, oh, you have to be harder than a lord. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, we're also slothful. Oh, and you have to be less than 30 as well. Right, I see. Okay, never mind then. Uh, build this dynasty up. Daenerys. Is there any chance of Bavi being formed? Seduce Daenerys. Does not have the opinion repelled. And how long until that faded away again? We can't be far off of that. Um, repelled. Uh, 8303, 26th of the 4th. So next year. Okay. We might just want to chill out until that kicks in. So let's join a society then. Um... The Citadel, in my opinion, seems the most appropriate for George R. R. Martin. Men, old men with facial hair is basically the expected thing to do in the Citadel. So let's dive in. We've got decent learning as well. It'll be another good way for us to up our own learning skills. We've never got to the higher levels of the... Wait, we can only get to a certain level though, can't we? From what I remember. I don't think we can go up to like Archmaester rank because we're, a, we're a, just a landed lord, obviously. I don't really remember. Um, well, let's see how it goes. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, already? My lord and novice, the conclave of the citadel, would like to extend you an invitation to travel to the high tower so you may study for your maester's link. Send him in. Can we do about... Okay. What would George want to write about? Ravens? Delivering letters. He knows nothing on delivering words on paper on time, so that would not be very appropriate. People and cultures could be a good one, because obviously he's quite a, quite a man with a, with a rich and diverse and varied world. Languages? Um, that's not really a strong suit either, or medicine. I think peoples and cultures suits... Lord George the best. Archmaester Gain is the authority on people and cultures at the Citadel. Over the coming months, we will learn from him while we also hopefully write our next novel about giving some of our kids claims. That would be the that would be the book I would personally want. Oh, he's an actual character, huh? Oh, there we go. My time at Citadel has been productive. I quickly gained a thorough understanding of peoples and their customs, cultures, and religions. Cool. So we gain ourselves a link, as we've seen before in previous series. We won't go too into detail on this because we've done it before previously. But we gain a link. And then when you get enough links, you can study a specialization, etc. Casterly Lo Rock, Lord Robert Brax was imprisoned by Tyrion Lannister. Been locked in the dungeons. Um, House Brax, are they one of the prominent dynasties, do you think? Maybe killing this guy off would be 95%. Maybe killing him off now that he's imprisoned as well. Would We would probably get away with it. And it might count. I think Brax are one of the really prominent ones, so are we? Maybe Tyrion made some enemies there? 22%. Wow, he's particularly beloved. Probably something to do with the 28 intrigue too. That's the one thing Robert and George have got in common. I hope you enjoyed the feast. That's a hell of a way to soften him up. Winter's coming. Winter's coming. John, soon be. This is about. It's supposed to be Sean Bean, but it's actually quite bad. Oh shit. <laughs> um. Okay. Jamie got beheaded by Robert Baratheon. Bollocks. Beat us to it then. This guy is systematically, 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 probably mastically, knowing Robert Baratheon, wiping out all of the Lannisters one by one. So he killed, um, he killed Tywin. Now Jamie's gone. Does she, she probably doesn't like him then, huh? Resentful, unfaithful harlot, and then uh, resentful, unfaithful lecher. Executed my kinsman. Executed my lover. J obviously Jamie Lannister. Um, he's a fat, gluttonous drunkard. One, one legged. Probably the diabetes. And a minute, we're already at uh, acolyte. I guess maybe when you... Oh, maybe there's only Acolyte rank. Or maybe when you've studied for a chain, you get to a, you get immediately promoted to that. So we can write a theorem paper. We can brew milk with a poppy. We can make a horoscope invite to stargazing or acquire ingredients. So it's your hermetic society on... I mean, slightly better as well. Oh, shit. So Janos Slint may have assassinated and killed Lucas Corbray, our spy master. Ah, oh, the intrigue. What about Janos Slint? I, I bet he probably counts as a... A murderable character. Let's give him a go. Um, 41%. Anybody want to join? Oh, imagine he's made some enemies. Surely it's Janos fucking slint. No one likes him. Um, 15 gold. Yeah, this is what we're after. This is what we're after. Look at this. 105%. I will get vengeance for my man. What was his name? Lucas something. 
We'll get re we'll, we'll get revenge for you, my friend. And um, maybe also some points as well. 112%. Here we go. And they found some old scholarly writings that they're going to want me to fund, no doubt. We shall go to Valyria. Well, let's not be hasty here, Master Hobbits. Go to Valyria. If we succeed, we get a thousand knowledge. Holy shit. Um... 61% chance of getting a thousand knowledge, though. Put me in. That's worth the debt, as far as I'm concerned. As long as you don't fuck it up, obviously, then it would definitely be not worth the. Ah, here we go. Coffers are empty. Um, we lose 100 piety, but we gain 100 gold, and 25% chance of the church not caring or, or caring about it. Ah, Mia might fancy me. Mia, Mia, well, that Mia stone. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Make a move. Oh, God, she hasn't. Oh, she she has. She did. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cursed. This is some bad fanfic, George. For George R.R. R. Martin, I hereby invite you to attend the Grand Sony of Casterly Rock. I will attend. Be entertaining. Plus, we may learn one or two things about sneaking around. 50% chance she becomes pregnant with George Brosby's child. Well, Daenerys isn't really putting in the effort. We could also try and seduce her as well. Fuck it. Why not? Um... Sure, here we go. So we've got Mere Stone. We're trying to wrap Daenerys around our finger and Mere Stone around. Well, you saw where that joke was going, so I fucked it up there. Let's like a place about. Or perhaps I can't. Stealing money from the church, going into Tyrion's land, and then placing it all as a bet. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I thought some carefully placed words where they could be easily overheard by notorious gossips would be more than effective than a love letter. Well, Princess Daenerys got the message, for she has started rumors of her own about me. Me and a horse. Those are rumors. No matter what you've seen in the YouTube comment section, those have always been rumors. Uh, oh, Castle of Drake Castle when it should be mine. Request the title. Um, she's almost certainly going to say no, but there's no reason. She can say no to the title, but she's not going to say no to this. <laughs> give me the castle. Right. Uh, you can either give me the castle or you're going to get a nice a nice slice of George meat. Me and, me and a horse again. It's two women to say that. You've got to assume that's not a rumor at this stage, right? No smoke without fire. There's no... Oh, no, I can't say that. Uh... George, I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is, my man. I, I don't know what I don't know what they don't see in you. I mean, you. I don't see you in them. I guess. Whatever happened to that scholarly text? I feel like we've been on an adventure for a very, very long time there, George. Um, is the government went dead or something? No, we just got lost in Valeria. I will assume. Oh well, never mind. And they were never seen again. So what do we need then? To hold a grand debate, we need either a specialization in a subject or 18 links from the system. We've got one so far. Um, we can write a theorem paper if we get 10. Oh, so that's how they limit it. Right, okay, cool. And then we can inquire ingredients if we have two maester links in either herb law, medicine, metallurgy, or or more medicine, I guess. Um, I still want to find that assassin's guild. It's a bit higher than law. This is what we're trying to do. Okay, you know what? D George, hit him with a deus ex. Well, we're out of inspiration now. Why? Oh, right, because of course, like I said yesterday, inspiration only takes up to takes up to 30. Shit, we need to kill someone. A general Slint is dead, right? Oh, he's still alive. He's just no longer Lord? What the fuck is he? I wish Robert Brathian would stop fucking with me. He's fled to, he's fled to a, a literal different continent. Robert keeps fucking with all my plots because he's revoked the city of King's Landing, banished general Slint, killed Jamie Lannister. Every time we get close to assassinating someone, Robert Brathian beats us to it. Um, Lord Commander, Uncle Benjin. It's Uncle Benjamin on the wall. He's got Direwolf and a regular wolf. Hang on a minute. Does that mean that Jon Snow... Lord Jon Snow? John Fisher? <laughs> it's not really what I expected. Um, huh. Well, it means he's living his best life, I guess. No, unfortunately, we failed about finding the scholarly text in Blurry. That's a shame, because that was a thousand knowledge we could have grabbed there. I guess we're still limited in the fact that we can't really do much yet until we get those other links first. Speak of the devil. All right, let's do it then. On a journey. What have you got for me this time? We, we're still going to learn George appropriate skills and any sort of learning they can throw at us as well. Um, I think astronomy is maybe the most George thing. Time and seasons. Oh, he loves seasons. Look at how long he spent writing Winds of Winter. He, lo he loves seasons. Get him in there. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two about friggin' winter. Finally, he's qualified. That book will take no time now. Brass Link. Okay, can we also... Is, I think, is he within Diplo range then if we can plot against him? Oh, he is. Wow, Dip... What the fuck? I thought I said Diplo range to limited. Um, maybe I didn't. Duh, duh, duh. Diplomatic range. Uh, stop me when you see it. Uh, on. Oh, I was just... On? Really? We can reach basically everywhere. I mean, Karth is still in, right? Yeah. So, past this line, we can't talk to anyone else, but most of the map is removed over there anyway. Um, cool. In that case, let's go for 
Oh, maybe we can get a better Spy Master. Let's see if we can dig up a better Spy Master from somewhere as well to help us out with all these random murder plots we got going on right now. Join Core, preferably. Talina, maybe we're allowed to have women Spy Masters. Uh, if not, this guy has 14, so I guess we could try him as well. What's the current guy got? 12? Oh, wait. Oh, also 14. Shit, never mind. Right, come on then. See if we can get a woman Spy Master. There we go. And then a point. Yeah, we can. Good shit. Right. Last Lament was where Janus Slimp was last spotted. Kill him dead. 131%. Oh, you are so screwed. Wait. Oh, I thought he died. Wait. Whoa, hang on, hang on. In recognition of your honor and glory, Septim offers to anoint you with holy oils and grant you a knighthood. Sir Lord George R.R. R. Martin of Rosby? What a name. Um, what does that do for us? Mounted troops, monthly pressed for free? What, because we, I guess because we crossed 500 prestige. We stole money from a church and gambled it at a tournament. Fuck your sirs. I don't see why I would ever turn that down. Thank you. Sir George. <gasps> At long last. Has she got a lover? She doesn't. Okay. What? Mere Stone, my lover. Did she find out about her? Repelled. Gave me up. Shut up. Um, we sent her a gift. <gasps> that might win her over. Sway. Award honorary title. High almoner. Okay, let's move away from Robert Brathian because he's kind of driving me a bit mad. Um, what do you want? Oh, I saw him a favor. No, what's he going to do? Oh, he can change the castle tax in Rosby. Great. Yeah, that'll that'll really change the game. Um, Rob Brathian has tried to have Lord Anders Ironwood of the Snowway arrested but failed, so he is now in prison. Brilliant. Um, yeah, let's try and win Daenerys over this way. We don't need to be swaying over... I mean, I was going to call him Robert Brathian. That is his name. Robert... <laughs> Oh, I was going to call him Robert Brathian as if that's his fucking name or something when it actually is. Yeah, we can stop swearing Robert Brathian for the time being. There's not really much he can... I mean, we're so detached from him. If we were the High Lord of Stoteworth, that'd be different because then he'd be our immediate liege. But we've still got a way to work ourselves up. And more importantly, we can get ourselves another link from the Citadel. Send me in. What are we looking at? Castles and architecture. Languages are law. It's got to be language, right? I, I think last time I said he doesn't know a thing about languages, and then I realized that books are written in language. Done. Platinum link in our inventory. Okay, that's three down. So that gives us a new option then. Um, oh, wait. That was like three links in medicine or something like that, right? Okay, fair enough. So we still can't do much in regards to the Citadel. What else have you got for me here? Nothing really. Janus Oh, but our plots are just not going anywhere. 117% for what feels like ages. Maya Martin. There she is. Who who else have we killed? We've killed Eddard. There was another one on the list. Um, Sir Robert. Oh, right. He was the guy we just counselor assassinated. Uh, Sir Balon it is. I'm going to call you ba b Balon... B b Balonet? Ba Balonet? Balonet sounds like it could be a real name. Yeah, that's fine. Another link for George. So we can take another Peoples and Culture link. Was that Pewter? Um... Take another one of those, because three links let us pick a specialization or something? I don't even remember how this works anymore. Why am I so obsessed with getting three links? I must have read something somewhere. Anyway, um, geography, people's cultures, and medicine. Maybe we just go wide. Just study everything. Fuck it, let's go for geography. Let's try and get one of every link. 69 opinion. You don't say. You know what that means. We'll show, we'll show her the meaning of that. Do it. Win her over. This is no more... What, what do you mean, my current occupation? Oh, because he's studying. Right, okay. Get over here. Get, deal with your... Do, do your homework. And then do your homework. Let's get a new spy master. Oh, our good spy master died again. Fuck Jan Slint. This is taking ages. Right, okay. Tyrion, you've surely made some mistakes here that people want removed. 4%? 21? What about, what about Cersei? 34. Robert Brathian? 66. Whoa, hang on. 66. I wouldn't want to upset him and fail that plot, though. Puts Joffrey on the throne. And that, to me, seems like a step in the right direction to having more people for us to murder. 65.5 with Renly. See if we can take out Renly, then. Fuck you, Janus Slim. Why is there so much money on that plot? Um, Stannis is up for it. Balon's up for it. The High Septim is up for it. Um, so is Oliver. But there's absolutely no one else, and that alone is not enough plot power to take him out. What about Staniel the Manual? Stannis the Manus the Soldier. Um, <laughs> nothing. Walter is, is it. What about... Um, the Tyrells? I don't want to kill Mace the Ace, but... 55. Uh, Willis is at 42. Uh, we got Garland, 49. Loras, 84.1. I think Loras Tyrell might be the next one on our list then. Let's see what... What have you done wrong? Okay. No, kidnap him. I don't want to fucking kidnap him. Plot to kill... I mean, we could kidnap him and then when he's in our prison, take him out. All right. We do have... Oh, okay. This is, this is a potential victory right here. It's no rush. No, no, no. It's fine. 
There we are. We're home now. Good shit. We've got an Electrum link added. Wait. What did I study? Oh, geography. Right, that was it. Um, so let's focus on the, the task at hand here. So from the top, the Lord of Brightwater wants him dead. 24 gold. Sure, that's fine. Uh, Morgil wants a fortune, I assume, because he's greedy. Uh, 23. Okay, this is going to be difficult to pull off, unfortunately. Um, you could try working on diplomacy a little bit. That would make more people obviously want to join our plots here. 103.4%. Let's move our spy master up to... I assume he's in High Garden, yeah? He is. Move our spy master up to High Garden as well. We may be looking at one dead Loras. Um, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. A mob of angry presence aggravated by the harsh tax of enforcing his start with trying to break into the inn where I'm staying. Well, I haven't done that. Have I done that? Oh, I have done that. Uh, well, they're dirty peasants. What need have they for money? 65% chance of George getting away. <laughs> Brave Sir George ran away. 30% chance of George getting wounded. 5% of George dying. We're fine. Oh, we're doing it on behalf of Falsy. Oh, well, you can fuck off. Declare war. Depose. No, okay. Um, oh, God damn it. I wish I had some. Wow, look at all that. Um. And a little bit more inspiration. We just need to kill one more person. Oh, God. Turns out asking a star sign was a final... Oh, Jesus. I sure know how to kill whole women. Daenerys and I spent the night making sweet, passionate love in my bed. In the morning, we woke up in a state of bliss, regret, and shame. That is the most cursed thing we've ever done in CK2. And we've done some... We kidnapped and fucked the Pope. This is worse. This is so much. The 20 year age gap is, is is one thing. But the fact they got married when she's 14. This is. Every, everything's awful. Raven Ray it is. Go for, go for a bit of practical word delivery. Um, Man, these plots have all gone to shit, haven't they? We haven't had any successful plotting so far besides the first one against Eddard. And Eddard Stark, of all people, like Honorable Ned. Everything else has just been a complete mess. Sorry, when I say sort by fucking plot power. I mean, sort by friggin' plot power. Um, that guy we can't. He's, he's way too expensive. You were only... Alright, get him on board. Septim Ormond. How are we looking? 131% against Loras Terrell. Someone else wanted to join as well. Daenerys is Perganant. 129%. Come on. What do, what do you want? Council support from... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, sure, why not? Maybe we could sway someone over here instead. Like this guy. No? No? In... Oh, right, because we're at the Citadel studying again. God damn it. This is a bad idea. Maybe we, maybe we shouldn't study the Citadel for too long. I mean, the learning's all well and good, but... Uh, <laughs> with a Martin Ammon, we don't, we don't have that shit. Maybe just until we get enough learning, then we can leave, because it's, it's kind of hampering our murder potential. Oh, there we go. At first, the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidence, but now they're becoming too frequent to be ignored. My wife will give birth under auspicious stars. Good work, George. Give yourselves a pat on the back, because no one else is going to, my friend. Is he still wounded? Holy shit. Uh... Is there anything we can do about that? Nothing at all, really. Well, let's hope that he finishes writing this book before he dies. Otherwise, his success is going to have to start again from scratch. 13 gold. <laughs> and there's nothing we can do with it. We could have started upgrading Rosby, I guess. There's got to be something we can build here. Um, it's a load of shit we can build here. My God. Uh, oh, right. Of course, we've got the extra building mod as well. So we need to save up a little bit of cash to invest into things like the weird butcher to get the... I mean, it's plus four tax, but we lose morale of armies. We're not going to be ever going to war. We are going to take this crown through subversiveness and intrigue and careful plotting. New life is formed. I, Dane, uh, Robert. What's the female version of Robert? Ro Robert, Robertina. Robertina. Welcome. Now, we we've run out of people, people on the, on the kill list and have my kids after now. Oh, she's attractive. Shit, that's good. Let's go for Etika then. Um, who are we gonna, who are we gonna have her educated by? Uh, Daenerys wouldn't be a bad choice. Um, Maybe someone with high diplomacy? There aren't really many. Gregarious, charitable, slothful is obviously pretty bad. Um, oh, God, all of these educators are a bit shit, to be honest with you. Do your duty. Set a new focus. Oh, right, right, right. That's another one of the mods we've got that allow you to change your identity members' focuses. Um, but obviously, she's a child, so doesn't really have a focus. Um, we could see what the automatic thing assigns her. See if it goes for anything good. Oh, that's what that was. Oh, no. So the plot fired... As we're away at the Citadel. I thought it was us traveling there, but no, it was Oh, shit. We may have just started a blood feud. Lord Loras Terrell fell to the ground like a piece of rotten fruit when the balcony railing gave way. Unfortunately, the carpenter who weakened it had second thoughts of real my involvement. We'll lose 100 piety and we gain 10 dishonor. 
However, Loris Terrell, brave Sir Loris, is dead. <laughs> I can hear him laughing in my head right now. Oh, God, we're dishonorable. Well, it's not a big deal. We're just not going to get caught too frequently. Um, known murderer. When does that disappear? 50 years. Okay, so we've just got to accept that the general opinion hit is a permanent thing now for the rest of this man's life. However, now we have access to basically a murder button. Um, what, do we not have access to a murder button? How much inspiration we got? Uh, 41.7. She ill? Oh, she's already fucking... Um, brave Robert Brathian? Where, where, oh, no, no, it's because we're away. Oh, okay. I was going to say, does depressed count as ill in base game CK2? Double link, and more importantly, we are back home again. Right, okay. Falsy Stokeworth. Give me your land. The Dancing Plague. Oh, that's a shame. It's only a health... Oh, well, there we are. We gain five intrigue, run diplomacy. It clears our education traits. So we lose elusive shadow. Um, but instead, we gain incompetent scientist. Giving us more learning to make up for it. So now, this actually makes a lot of sense. Now we can instead start studying our own things. Rather than writing novels, obviously. We could study our own fields with the, when we get the inspiration. So that will tick back up again. Because when it falls below 30, it will tick back up to 30 based on our learning stat. And our learning stat is really high. So we get like three learning per month. Next month, we can go into studying, I think, Intrigue. Get ourselves back up on the Intrigue. Because we did lose a little bit when our education flipped over there. Um, we're done swaying you, my friend. You are... You are okay. Obviously, we're swaying him to try and murder Loris there. So we will go for this one in a second. There we go. Um, Robert the Fat got it's communicated. Let's go ahead and study some intrigue. Bored of writing so many novels, you decided to do literally anything else to distract yourself. The fans can wait, after all. Intrigue has always been a favorite subject of yours, so they decided to dedicate some time to the finer studying of finer points. My god, I can't even read what I've written myself. Chaos is a step upwards, or maybe another day and get back a refund on our inspiration. No. Let's do it. And in traditional George fashion, you guessed it, this could take any amount of time. Who knows when he will deliver on this intrigue study. Wait one goddamn minute. Valar Hill of... So Valar Hill to George Rosby. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did we kill her? <gasps> we killed her. She's gone. What'd she die of? Died of depression of all things. Where's Lawless Stoteworth? Hang on. Well, we killed Falsy Stoteworth. That her sister, right? Yeah. What'd she die of? <gasps> Danced into oblivion. Cackle, little George. Cackle. <laughs> That's so good. Actually incredible. Fantastic work. Metallurgy we haven't studied. Yeah, I'll be looking with that, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six links. Actually, maybe we've already gone for metallurgy. Nope, we haven't got that one yet. We'll try and study every field equally, and then I think it's three to pick specialization. I don't really remember. Um, right, so I'm going to resign from your council because it causes me a, a diplomatic question. What if we now start killing off our liege? House Birch, I do not believe count as, you know, one of the key players in the Game of Thrones world. So, chances are this will not give us, from what I remember, will not give us the necessary points, the, 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 murder, the murder points. But there's a lot of people willing to, for a little bit of cash here, join our plot. Um, and we'll manually sway Herman, or not. Oh, because we're out. Fucking goddamn Citadel is taking up all my time here. Although, apparently not that much time. Nice work, George. All right, we're back. Let's do it. Uh, what was that? We got a steel link this time. Cool. From our metallurgy training. Um, Winston, court tutor. Send him some gold, and then we'll try and sway this guy instead. We could just send him a gift, but it, it's probably worth it for higher value percentage-wise because it's just a mean time to happen at the end of the day. So there's, a, there's just a chance we can kill him off. So the higher that we can keep that chance, you know, there's always a, a good chance that instead of swaying this dude here, he could just die. So if we've got the opportunity to send him a gift, get him into the plot earlier to increase that chance firing for longer. Does that make sense? Anyway, my lord and acolyte, the conclave of the city, I would like to extend an invitation to you. Sure, why the hell not? One is to get back on the council there by the looks of it. Um, now, bear in mind when we get enough inspiration again, we could always just, while we're plotting to kill here, give another one a disease. You know, there might be some other books that... Give us similar related things. Now, we didn't really get the best book, I will admit, for helping out with our plotting. In fact, we got arguably the worst one. There we are. So we lose a learning and gain an intrigue. We got arguably one of the worst ones, and that is the um, one that essentially allows us to kill people, but of course not get any inspiration for it. Bypass the system. The one we could have done with are the, are the books that allow us to lower opinion of that person. So the ones that allow us to basically spread the vicious rumors would have been a bit better this early on. But we will get around to that eventually. Um... Oh, he's already writing. I was like, let's write another novel. But of course, he's still writing that friggin' novel. History, Warcraft. What have we not? Uh, Castles and Architecture, I don't think we've done. Only two links in the subjects allows it. There we are. Okay, so I, I knew I'd read that somewhere. Um, 
Languages, people, cultures, medicine, geography, ravenry, time season, metallurgy, castles, and architecture it is. Ooh, this isn't very good. Um, I've been reading the seven-pointed star, and it claims that death is not something a true believer should be afraid of. Um, the worry, forgive me, for I have sinned. We gain stress, but we lose gluttonous, slothful, and cruel? No, all three of them. We've already got stressed. No, we haven't got stressed. Um, we actually do lose all three. What the fuck? And we had a son called Waylon? That's a bit offensive, just because my man was gluttonous. Um, all right. I guess then, Waylon. Oh, he's a genius. Loris. Young. I was just going to say, is that like a halfway point between Loris and George? And the best I can think of was Lorge. And that's, that's like Star Wars level bad. Um, Loris. Loris R. Uh, uh. Incredible. I should have called him Laura Raras Martin. That would have been a lot. That would have been so much better. Oh, well. Um, let's train you ourselves. What are you good at? What shall we train him in? I guess an intrigue character couldn't hurt. So conscientious or brooding. The issue is, the only way to get brooding is go with pride and that shit. Um, conscientious. I mean, he's got genius. We give him shrewd as well, could we not? All right, let's do it. Uh, let's, let's min max. Loris R. R. Martin. And for better or for worse, we'll educate him personally. Oh, if we... Oh, we're away from bloody court every single fucking time. That's going to get me. Um, we'll educate him personally as well. Uh, seeing as we're not bad. We're not great, but we've lost all of our bad traits, which makes us a bit more of an appealing educator. Um, you didn't actually get given one in the end then, huh? Um, here, I'll give my wife's daughter to my lover to be educated. That's, that's a slap in the face, really. The last of Drake Castle. We probably want to revoke that, to be honest. We got one out of two on our domain size. Don't forget. We don't want to make Daenerys our treasurer. Shit, that's my bad. Um, see if we can find ourselves a better treasurer. Right, okay. Uh, set to join court, isn't it? John. Join me, my man, John. Really, I should be checking as well if there are any people willing to join our court who are highborn. So, we could just assassinate him in our court. Oh, man, I should have been doing that. Um... I'll pull up the list for next time. I'll publish it somewhere. I'll put it up on the uh, Steam Workshop page so you guys can also have a look at what dynasties count as legitimate ones for George's inspiration targets. Could instead, rather than killing about 50 different people and, and, and losing the opportunity to assassinate people who give us the inspiration, just plot to fabricate the claim on that one. Um, obviously, it depends which one's quicker at the end of the day. This one allows us to go for a load of people in the realm. Nobody wants to join, really, because we're dishonorable. Opinion of Lord Stefan is a minus one. Opinion of Lord George is like a minus five. Oh, God. We are not liked enough to try and do that. And we need three plot backers, don't we, to even fire the plot. Let's keep it going. You never know. Eventually, we might get enough people wanting to join it to fire that off. And, and Dishonorable Decays, as it says, they're at a rate of ten every ten years. So, how old were we when we became Dishonorable? I feel like that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, only another... Oh my god, only like another seven years before us, eight years before we stop being dishonorable. Although, as I recall, uh, our, some, someone can repair that, can't they? Perform statecraft, reputation is repaired, eight point, let's see if we can find a better diplomat. Piss off this, this random, uh, t temple, this, this septum, but, oh, there we are, Eustace, join me, join me, join me, invite to court. Piss off the septum, but instead, gain... Potentially dishonorable or, or lose dishonorable, more importantly. 13.66. Give it a go. Oh, this is a hard choice. Zealous for the church opinion. Religion, same trait opinion. Or cynical for the intrigue. Um, To be fair, it's religious, same trait opinion. So it's it's everybody of our religion. Uh, and then cynical characters obviously get the minus five instead. But plus 15 with, with all faith of the seven. That's massive. It's like really good. We actually got it. Okay. That, that is how that works, right? I'm not going crazy. Um, well, maybe it's not how that works. Religious same trait opinion. What the hell does that mean, then? Reli religious same trait opinion. Killed by Bannerman minus 30. Don't know what you're talking about. Um, we are good acquaintances, though. Religious same trait opinion. Oh, same same trait. Same trait. Th those two words probably are operative there. Same trait, idiot. So if... Someone of our religion also is zealous as a plus 15. You absolute moron. What am, I, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I have no idea how CK2 works. I've barely played it and I know nothing of the inner machinations. Thank you all for watching. I'm a fool. Tomorrow, progress will be made. Mark my words. I could do some more heavy editing to get around George. Obviously, going to the Citadel all the time. Studying for his links all day. 
every day, but we will mark my words. All we need is a little bit more, like one of the one of the key books. That's all we're just waiting on here. So, so just give him a little more time, and I promise you, George will write that book. In the meantime, though, a shout out has to go to our insane top tier level patrons for making George's adventures possible in the first place. So thank you to Ben Hofflin, Zetlock, James Shea, The One Ring, Darth Hawk, Harry McGowan, Lucas, Scott, Sirik three one three, Jackson Woodman, Harik. DKO, Director Fritz, William Green, Zazzy7011, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon for making the channel possible. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you all for your support. And a thank you as well goes out to Prometheo, Choma, Tonoster, Jason Sushu, Kiko, Adrian Eliasson, Hated, Kane GB, Astro, Euron DeVries, Hoopalia, Trashbin, Distorted Triangle, Cam, Kevin Saunders, and Layla, along with everyone else on Patreon for their support in keeping the channel going. Thank you for giving me the time of day to record four videos currently <laughs> and making mods and streaming on Twitch. I'm going to die at the age of 12. Thank you. From stress, that is. Goodbye.